Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to my first drum lesson in quite a while. I've been extremely busy with covers, with trips to Pearl and Zildjian, and just all this stuff has been going on that I haven't put out drum lessons in a while, and I feel really bad because that's one of the things that I should be giving you guys as often as possible because they're, they're good things to learn from, and um, they're not really that hard to put together. So, I am back. This is a drum lesson. Uh, one of the things that's going to allow me to do more drum lessons is I have my Pearl ePro Live kit now so that I can play and practice and teach and do all of that at a quiet kind of level because this is an electronic kit. So when I hit it, that's all the sounds you hear. So I can play all day long, I can practice all day long and I don't really bother people. So that's one thing that is really going to allow me to sit down and hopefully pump out some more videos for you guys. Now, for my first drum lesson back, I really wanted to talk about the absolute most important drum lesson I could possibly ever give you guys. And really, I almost I feel obligated to say this, and I feel obligated to make this video because um, my videos are kind of part of the problem. And what I mean by that is drumming in general, like just being a really good drummer is not necessarily the same thing as a YouTube video. It's not the same thing as uh, the kinds of things I do in a lot of videos. What I do, what you see in pretty much all of my videos, a lot of overplaying, a lot of stick tricks, a lot of stuff that really isn't necessary to be a really good drummer. And it's not the stuff that will get you a gig. Now, you may find a gig that you get to do stuff like that. Like a lot of pro drummers flip their sticks every once in a while. A lot of pro drummers have a lot of arms and a lot of energy and showmanship to their playing. A lot of them play more difficult parts. But when it comes down to it, a gig is not like, you don't really make a gig by being able to play 16th notes at the fastest tempo while spinning your sticks and flipping them all over the place. I mean, that's not something that a band is looking for. If you want to record in the studio, if you want to be a studio drummer, if you want to go to Nashville, lay down tracks there, they're not looking for that stuff. What you need to be able to do as a drummer is just lay down a groove, just be the backbone to a band, know what to play to a song, know when to play certain things, know when to throw in a fill, when to not throw in a fill, what type of fill to throw in. And so, like I'm saying, my videos are kind of part of the problem because if you haven't really heard this before, then you may watch my videos and think, oh man, to be a good drummer, I need to be able to do that. No, to be a good drummer, you have to just lay down a steady groove to a metronome, behind a band, sometimes you don't play to a metronome, sometimes you just play behind a band, you just have to be able to groove. Now, I want to show you some examples of this um, in a little bit, but I really just wanted to, to tell you guys that sometimes everything you see from like, I mean, if you watch me, or if you watch Luke Holland, or you watch Kobus, or um, uh, who else? Uh, can't think of anybody right off the top of the head right now, but but we all overplay stuff, we all add in too many stick tricks, Kobus doesn't do that many stick tricks, but uh, me and Luke Holland, we do a lot of stick tricks, we do a lot of things that aren't necessary, and I just wanted to let you guys know that, yes, learning that stuff is fun, and I don't want you to not learn it at all, I want you to learn it, I want you to have fun with it, because that's what my videos are all about, is having fun, I'm just enjoying myself. But it's also fun, and it's more important to be a very steady, a very in time, a very structured, a very um, solid, solid is the best word, a very solid drummer. That is what a band wants. They want a solid drummer. Now, if you're going to be touring the world and you're going to be playing with a bunch of people, then you'll probably have more showmanship. You'll probably have a little bit more of the stuff that I like to incorporate in my videos. But when it comes down to it, solid is what is what gets you the gig. Solid is what gets you the opportunity to play for a certain group or um, or be the backbone or record in a studio. And one thing you don't see from me is I actually play much, uh, much closer to what I'm telling you about when I'm not making videos. And the reason I play the way I do in the videos is because people want to see me show off. People want to see me 
do a bunch of stick tricks. People want to see me play a bunch of notes. And it's fun to do. But when I play, like I just released a video of maybe a week ago, I'm not sure when I'm going to post this video, but uh, of me playing with a group. They called me up on stage when I was at a, uh, a steakhouse and I jumped up on there and played Sweet Home Alabama and Old Time Rock and Roll. And you don't see me do practically anything that is anywhere near what I do in my videos. I basically just sit there, lay down a groove, and just basically be the backbone to this group. And that, the reason I posted that video is I wanted to kind of show you that it's not all about chops, it's not all about uh, showmanship. I don't flip my stick a single time in that video, I don't think, and definitely not while I'm playing. And so, my, my style of playing when I'm not in a YouTube video is, is different. When I go to the studio to record for a group, um, I don't think, how many fills can I fit into this section, or how many uh, stick tricks can I throw in here. In fact, a lot of times I don't even do stick tricks because they're just for others' entertainment. But when you're doing something like recording in a studio, it doesn't matter what you do like visually, it doesn't matter any of that. So my technique changes, um, a lot of things about my playing change when I'm not doing a YouTube video. And so, I just want you guys to know that you don't have to be an extremely flashy drummer, you don't have to flip your sticks all over the place. In fact, don't even worry about the stick tricks until you get the groove down, until you're a solid drummer, until you can sit there and play to a metronome or play to a track and keep a solid groove because that's going to be more appreciated by a band than this ever will. Um, I mean, one day, yeah, if you're good at, if you got your, your stuff down, then throw in some stick tricks. But focus on the groove, focus on the beat, focus on being the most solid drummer you can be. And so I want to end this video with um, just a few shots of kind of me overplaying, a few shots of me doing too much, but then I want to end the video with a shot of me just throwing down a groove, not really flailing my arms, not doing a lot of stuff that is entertaining, but focusing on playing something that sounds great to a track and it is great to... Uh, great to listen to and is something that someone may look for when they want a track played to this song. And the song is a uh, kind of alternative rock pop kind of track that you can find on performancedrumming.com and you can also see a video of me having some fun on that track on my channel as well. So I'll put some links over here to that. But let's have some fun. Now first off is what not to do and then what I'm about to do here is what to do. <laughs> or what to focus on first. Not saying that you should never have some fun and never show off and never work on your chops and stuff, but you really want to be a solid drummer first. So let's, let's be a solid drummer.
All right, so there you have it. Something simple, the groove, you wanna focus your kick drum on the punches, you wanna lay down that snare on two and four, and you just wanna lay down a groove. Now, there are plenty of drummers out there that are way groovier than me. You wanna hear a really groovy drummer? Check out Chad Smith. That man is the king of just putting down an insane groove. So, that's all I have to say for today. Um, Thank you for watching through the whole video. Thank you for checking it out. Thank you for listening. And uh, I mean, by all means, go out and have some fun. Go out and learn some stick tricks and, and learn to play technical stuff too. But really focus on learning to be a solid drummer first. Because every once in a while, I'll see a video of someone who is trying to do stick tricks and stuff and they don't have the groove down yet. And as much as I want them to learn the stick tricks and I want them to have fun with it, you, they're not going to be very useful as a drummer until they have the groove, until they can sit there and play along to a met, until they have that pocket. And that pocket is key to everything in drums. You're never going to find a band that doesn't want a drummer with a good pocket. Never. You're never going to walk up to a band and they're going to be like, well, we don't really need you to be able to play in time or anything, we just, we just want you to, to look cool. And <laughs> I mean, as much as that's like a funny joke, like it's, it's, it's not gonna, you're not gonna find that. And um, that's why like, I don't want to always put out these videos of stick tricks and too many notes and not also tell you guys that it's not just about that. That is entertaining, that is for people to watch and enjoy, but when it comes down to it, for you to be the most successful drummer that you can be, you need to have that pocket and that groove. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe for some more lessons. Um, like I said, I'm playing on the Pearl ePro Live kit here. It's an electronic kit that can also convert to an acoustic kit with real drum heads. And uh, I'm using the Metal 101 kit from RedboxSoundShop.com. You can actually switch out the kits inside the module here from the like couple thousand different sounds to one kit. And so right now I have one really, really high quality HD kit in here that um, I really like the sounds of and everything. So, so I'm playing on. Uh, make sure you subscribe and everything. Thank you so much for watching. Go practice your pocket. Buy a metronome if you don't already have one. And uh, yeah, have a great day. Go have some fun on some drums.